Good morning, friends, and welcome back. This is Mellow7, and we are playing RimWorld Alpha 17. This is our Star Wars modeled version, and that is my phone beeping in the background. Let's <clears throat> see if I can uh, turn that down a little bit there. Maybe. Maybe not. <clears throat> ah, whatever. We'll live with it. The occasional beep isn't going to kill us. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> ah. Sorry, my throat's just a bit rough. I've only been up for about, oh, half an hour or so. <clears throat> my little sister's coming to visit today. So she's got a job interview in the area. So I don't get to see her usually any more often than once every couple years. So we got to rush out a couple videos today. And then I can uh, get on the road and go up and see her for a little bit. All right. So I played for a little bit. Not a huge amount. Ran an extra day or so. Uh, nothing happened. At the moment, we are running a little bit low on food, but our rice is 99%. Uh, it looks like Sesniak has already started to bring that in, and our potato plants are going to be done right after that. So we should be okay. I don't really see any problems there. We have had a couple puppies. Um, so if you check, we now have Hunter and Shari have been added to the group, and Sesniak is the master of one of them, which is nice to kind of spread the wealth a little bit. Does mean we need another dog bed, though, because I've only got four. There we go. Right under the air conditioner. For a husky, that is probably the ideal spot. <clears throat> uh, Kimmy is, of course, not doing anything. Let's see why not. Um, Dr. Warden, okay, we don't have any of that to do. There's no construction to do. There's no plant cutting to do. She doesn't haul. She doesn't do that. Let's put her on craft. Let's give her a low-level craft job. Right? Because this can be done by anybody, right? And then she can work on that. <clears throat> We'll let her kind of, well, let's see, let's draft her and let her go, and then she can handle that job right there. Uh, I did finish getting the uh, comms console in, and we have a beacon here, and we have a beacon in here, so we, we can sell kind of this extra stuff that we've got floating around as, as we get the chance, and we do have our new high-tech research bench. <coughs> hmm. We are researching transport pod. However, we skipped over refining, so we're going to have to come back and get that next. And then we will be able to launch our, our research pods. So my goal, my plan for this is that when we get that point, <clears throat> we're going to start launching a raid on this uh, close, close by uh, Imperial base. This one right here. So we can launch into the Imperial 43rd platoon, and then we can run back down the road. That's my plan. I don't think that should take us too terribly long. Uh, and then we don't have to bring nearly as much food, which means we can bring back more stuff if we actually win, which I'm not 100% sure about at this point. We probably will give Kimmy a gun for that. Um, or maybe we'll leave her here. Maybe we'll leave her here. I mean, she does have a shooting of three. Um, she's just a brawler. <clears throat> oh, speaking of which, I did add a bunch of uh, joy things. So we've got a, a poker table, a pool table, a melee trainer, and a ranged uh, shooting target there. <clears throat> so... At some point, those skills could come up some. And Indiana is apparently peeing on that one. Because, you know, that's what dogs do. So Kimmy is helping do some plant cutting there, it looks like. Uh, I guess we can speed everything up. <clears throat> I always wonder why things are going so slow when you turn it on. and It just starts at the right, the regular speed. Looks like we could conceivably... Oh, we probably don't want quite that many. Here, let's zoom in a little bit. Haul a few more things. Keep the hauling robot busy. He can fill that back up. We do have some there on the end, so hopefully somebody can't stand right there on the edge. We will test that the next raid we get. Now, our difficulty is low because the idea wasn't to, to have to defend the base against terrible things. The idea was to be able to free us up to get this stuff done and go raiding. Uh, I think after this first raid, we will jack up the difficulty again and see what happens. Now, the one interesting thing is we've only ever seen one person. We got one additional person in our very first episode, and he died between the first and the second episode in the middle of our three uh, heat waves, uh, consecutive heat waves. And uh, <clears throat> as such, we've never gotten anybody else. Uh, we haven't had anybody that uh, survived that we could, uh, on the very small raids, it was worth grabbing. Um, 
I don't even know that we've tried, although we've noticed in our past playthroughs that Alpha 17 is very difficult. There we go. Look at Dimitri working on his skill. I like that. He's getting pretty close to 13, <clears throat> and that gives him a lot of joy. Uh, anyway, the uh, Alpha 17 has been very hard to recruit people. So, you know, it... it we just haven't gotten the people. So we did finish our transport pucks. I think ideally what you want for this type of playthrough. Oh wait. Incapable of violent. That's not ideal. Volatile. Pretty. Passionate for social animals. Construction. Mining. That's good because we don't really have somebody that we like for mining. Crafting and intellectual. So that's a lot of passion. <clears throat> Just as I tell you how difficult it is to get people, we get an we get a possibility for some. Now, incapable of violence, not great. Okay, I, we're a raiding base, and even the people we leave behind should be able to defend the base. They don't have to be great at it, but they should be capable of it. So he's not perfect for that, but we could leave him and Kimmy behind maybe while the other three go raiding. So let's um, let's offer safety. Let's pause real fast. Let's make sure we get refining started here, so I don't forget about it. Looks like they're going to come from that direction. Let's take a quick look at him. Turn on the important stuff. Firefight, doctor, bed rest, hall plus. Okay, and he does hall, which is good. So, and he handles. He likes to handle. So let's let's knock him up one. We'll knock Dimitri down one on that. Um, <clears throat> he does still do all our cooking. He does some plant cutting. He can haul. He can craft. He can do all sorts of good stuff. Uh, so we're going to put him on hall. We're going to turn off his cooking. We'll go ahead and give him a, a three for that. We'll give him a one for mining. <clears throat> and then we may as well make these ones as well. Oh, well, not art. Uh, I think we'll go that way. And for the moment, the only crafting we're doing <clears throat> is stone blocks. And we can let Kimmy do that when she's not doing anything else. <clears throat> oh, we don't have her on that. We have Dimitri on that. Oops. No, that's... F we don't have... I don't even think we have an art table built, so we probably don't need that on it. I said we were going to have Kimmy craft. Yep, there we go. We got Kimmy on craft. Low level. Oh, we put it up to three, I guess, right? Uh, in fact, we can move it up before growing, because she's not really... Eh, no. When there's growing to get done, we may as well get it done. And then we'll do then we'll do crafting. I think that'll be okay. So we got a couple people on crafting. Dimitri. Cooking, hunting plant cutting. Okay, I think that should work right there, and then he'll he'll default to that. We'll turn those off. We don't really have much smithing or tailoring to be doing, if any, at the moment, right? Because I we do have uh, a tailor bench. We do have enough cloth. We could we could do some more clothes. Um, I wonder what the like scout jackets cost. Let's take a look see what goes into that. Oh, that doesn't tell us. Um, 20 synth thread. Okay, well, we don't have synth thread, so that's not going to happen. <clears throat> what else could we conceivably make? Um, scout jacket brown. How about a trooper jacket? Is that also synth thread? 20 synth thread. Um... Rebel Alliance helmet, scout helmet. Let's see how much do what do scout helmets take. Twenty steel. All right, we could do some scout helmets. Let's go to make like four of those. <clears throat> how about uh, just a regular oh, uniform pants instead of regular pants? Let's see what they take. Uh, we make those out of whatever. Okay, so let's let's. We don't have regular pants keyed up anyway. Let's go ahead and add a couple of those. And... <clears throat> Officer uniform. Do we just have a rebel... We don't have just a regular rebel uniform, do we? <clears throat> we can make you an officer. Well, we've got flight suits. Huh. 
Oh, trooper jacket. What does a trooper jacket take? Also Synthrid. <clears throat> of course. Well, let's start with that. Uh, and we are going to need to make a t-shirt in there somewhere. So let's... Uh... What does that take? Steel and cloth. Do I have... I do have some cloth. Okay, so let's move that up initially. Because uh, Mector doesn't have any clothes there. And we'll kind of go from... The, and we'll move the helmet up as well. There we go. Then we'll kind of work our way through the rest of it. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, can he shoot? Oh, no, he's incapable of violent. That's right. Just a second here. Oh, treatment. Oh, wait. So, Kimmy, we're going to have you rest until healed, and then we're going to have Sesniak. If we've got time here... No, we don't have time. Never mind. We're going to draft everybody. We're going to have Mekhar here. Kimmy, <clears throat> you are going to run that complex. Bowman is going to run this complex. Sesniak is going to go there. Dimitri is going to go there. I think that'll work. Animals, we are going to... None. 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 <clears throat> None, and we are going to restrict the animals to a new area, which I'm going to create right now. <clears throat> Expand, a, let's go manage areas. Let's go new animal area. <clears throat> Rename. Oops, why it doesn't automatically put us there or delete that. Oops. Safe area. Okay. Close, expand, safe area. And let's clear this wall. I don't want him to accidentally try to go outside trying to get someplace they can't get to. Okay. So, animals, let's go ahead and knock them all into the safe area. <laughs> all the robot is already moving bodies. All right, let's see if there's anybody here we're interested in saving. You know, we may finally get our little, our, our bonus here. Let's see. Incapable of nothing. Misandrist. Dislikes and us. Okay. Abusive. Okay. And a neuro tag, though. Aiming time minus 50%. Great shooting accuracy. From learning. So, this is somebody that's that's kind of probably hard to live with, but is good at what she does. Um, so, that's not a bad idea. <clears throat> Gazelle here. Uh, incapable of caring or social. That's not as big a deal. A teetotaler and steadfast. Also, really good at a lot of things. I think we're going to try to pick up Gazelle. Let's grab. First of all, we need... We only have the one room right now that we can use. <clears throat> Let's convert that to prisoner. Let's grab both of them. And then if one of them happens to be like a 99% difficulty, we'll just dump them. If they're both reasonable, we'll have to decide if we have to make a, a decision there or not. Um, we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. Let's uh, unforbid a bunch of stuff. Orders. Unforbid. There we go. All right. Now, let's check them for doctoring. We're already doing some. That looks to be... Let's see. Prisoner. 
Uh, that's fine. We're going to go ch difficulty at 92. Probably not going to hang on to Albio. 99 here, though. I think we're going to release Albio. We'll give the other one a chance. Right, 92 is still really, really difficult. Um, but let's see how it goes. We can always release her later if, if we find out that she's just drawn too much food, if she's too much of a pain in the ass. Um, but she would be really great if we're going to start raiding. Now, we do need to start making an additional, at least one additional bedroom, if not two. Now, what I think we're going to do is we're just going to do a hallway down here, and then we'll paint two more rooms off of there. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and set up our mining here. Uh kind of run down this way uh, what are we f five something like that <clears throat> now you know we're gonna we're gonna dig this out just a little bit more because we're gonna put in we'll put in actual walls so that we can uh, we can make these a little bit nicer, right? That way we can. Oh, that wasn't quite how I was going to get to that, but okay, that'll work. Uh, and this one can can be canceled. Uh, yeah, because we're going to go in. Okay, maybe we won't cancel. Why is it not working? Come on. That's the one we want. I guess it doesn't matter. Bulk goods trader. All right. Hey, this is our first bulk goods trader. We don't really have anybody um, that's spectacular at this. Kimmy's the best, and Kimmy. Oh, Kimmy is kind of. Oh, Kimmy can be un. Uh, oops. Why is our screen bouncing around? Kimmy and Bowman can both be un. Done there, and Kimmy can go over here. Yeah, she has gut worms. Um, we could sell some huskies. They are worth a little bit. Uh, we could buy some muffalos. That's not necessarily a bad idea because we are going to need um, pack animals. So we could like conceivably sell, say, <clears throat> maybe Haley or Marta. And then if we sold two of them, that would almost pay for one muffalo. But the question is, how do we get the muffalo where we want to go? Um, they are a little bit pricey. We could also go dromedaries, I guess. What do let's look at dromedaries. Movement speed. They do make good pack animals. Wildness of 25%. Um filth rate, vegetables, leather, life expectancy 45. I'm looking for like how much can they carry? Does it Carrying capacity, 150. Okay, and a muffalo is 154. <clears throat> wildness of 50%. Minimum handling speed of 3. So I think dromedaries are actually better. We're better off going for, for camels than we are our huskies. Now, <clears throat> I've really liked the huskies, to be honest. They've been fine, uh, but they haven't really done much for us. I think we sell our huskies. I don't. We don't have any bonds. I hope. Let's pause. Let's check to make sure that we don't have bonds. No bonds. Now, let's check uh, animals. Let's let's verify that one more time. Come on. Uh, Haley, food, social. Nope. <clears throat> I don't see any, any bonds. Okay, so... Kimmy, come on back here. That's fine. We are going to sell all of our huskies. Okay. And we are going to buy two dromedaries. We're going to buy uh, a male and a female. Now, they do have an age of, what, 42 years or something like that? So we can go ahead and get two of these. Realistically, all of them except this female here is probably going to last longer than we're ever going to need them. So we'll buy two of those. That is going to put us at minus 648. But let, let's see what we can sell here. Uh, we've got some cougar skin. We're not going to get a lot more of that. Uh, we're not going to get much more rat leather. We're not going to get much more squirrel skin. 
you know these are these are things we're not hunting actively um, we've picked up some of it here and there uh, we've got cloth coming in on its own pig skin and let's sell the uh, sell the beaver skin so we're almost breaking even so far uh, we're gonna hang on to our plaz steel uh, limestone block we could sell limestone blocks that's fine that would be true uh, we do have some Synthroid pants, but let's hang on to those. They're good, and we've got at least one naked person that just came up. He's going to need some stuff. We could sell some gold. I think we hang on to that. Um, I think that's probably it. Um, we've got plenty of wood. We could sell that. <clears throat> Four granite blocks. Let's dump those. Sandstone blocks. This probably came from buildings rather than from um, doing stuff. We'll sell those. We're pretty close to, to, to breaking even. I think we can go with that. And now we got two dromedaries that we can take with us. Um, perfect. Now let's go to animals. Let's put them in animal area one. They can't be trained for as much stuff as the huskies. The huskies we were training up to haul, which would be nice. Um, but I think this will be better. I think we've learned from our caravans that things go slow, a lot slower than we'd like. Um, and that we may need some of that. All right, gazelle, we're letting go. There we go, released right there, and that's fine. Macther's already working on training. Do we not have any more? Okay, we're gonna need to hunt something because we don't have any more uh, kibble. And of course, now I've got a bunch of glare off the screen. Let's hunt that little raccoon. I don't know here, let's let's hunt the pig. Let's cancel that. Let's cancel that. We're not gonna we don't need to hunt the little forest critters. We'll we'll hunt <clears throat> real meat. There we go. There's a pig. Any more. Lots of squirrels, lots of raccoons. bunny rabbits lots of bunny rabbits it's there we go I guess that is a small forest creature that we don't necessarily need to kill but <clears throat> they are Hoffenpfeffer so you know all right so we increased our uh, our relations with the Red River Concord don't really care to be honest doesn't hurt <clears throat> now the goal is just to try to get uh, <clears throat> alboio here converted over difficulty 92 it's going to be very difficult mad animal <clears throat> local ho tortoise has gone mad all right bowman come on tortoise there you are I know you're not the fastest critter on the planet. There we go, getting some more growing done, some more planting done. At some point, do I have anybody actually hunting? <laughs> We got a bunch of people with a low level hunt. Uh, let's go to knock Dimitri up a level for hunting. Try not to shoot everybody else in the base, Bowman. There you go. <clears throat> there we go and then this should get us some uh, potatoes rice we should get some kibble made from this there we go and then we got some meat for the camels well some kibble for the camels also some uh, you know what I think I'm probably going to make the just an attempt to save a little energy and keep them from eating stuff they're not supposed to eat I'm assuming camels can eat grass as well 
Live plants. Okay, yes, they can. So we're going to go ahead <clears throat> on our zone area here, and we're going to kind of block out the... We're going to block out the cooler normally. Um, just a little bit less things for them to damage, right? Uh, and we're going to go ahead and add... Um, animal area one. We'll go ahead and add that so they can get to the new bedrooms. <clears throat> Just in case they end up bonded to somebody. They probably will end up bonded to Mechther. We do need to get him a sleeping spot for the moment. Um, we'll just put it there for now. And we need to build a wall here, structure. There we go. So we have a private room again. Mechther is the miner, so he's responsible for kind of mining out his own place here. Um, okay, so one mad Ibex. Where is Bowman? Um, you know what, we're gonna grab our normal four here, <clears throat> run them down here, Bowman, Kimmy, Dimitri, Sesniak. Oh, we got one left. Hold on, hold on. Don't don't go anywhere yet. Animals. Get out of the way, dromedary. Put those on. Whoops, hunt. There we go. <clears throat> one dromedary got clipped. I think he'll be okay. Or her. Acid burn. Take care of our dromedary. There we go. All right, that's patched up. <clears throat> Finish taking off those guys, and that should get us plenty of meat for everybody there. All right, uh, that. Well, we'll give it a couple more minutes. Uh, I, I started recording before. And there's our next unusual heat wave. Okay, so we need to make sure that Mechthar, uh, Gear, Sin Thread. Okay, what does that do for him? Let's see. What type of temperatures can he handle? Uh, work, diet, where is that? Um... Well, we'll get 29 from our 29 leather from our uh, taxonomist if we need to. That's interesting. Social train animal tents 11. Stats char character maybe health. Where does it tell us how much temperature they can handle? Oh, probably right here. He can handle up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So, we probably should get him slightly better. You know what we're going to do for now? Let's see, what's our temperature inside at? 67. You know what we're going to do? We're going to create a new zone here real fast. Expand allowed area. Look, manage areas. We're going to say new area. Uh, rename inside. Again, why it doesn't switch to there. Okay. Inside. Close. Now we can go to restrict, and we can say, for now anyway, oh, we need to add some joy on there, and we'll, we'll knock off a little bit of extra sleep there. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to restrict him to inside for the moment. I think that'll be fine. And then what we can do is, I mean, we got plenty of mining for him to do in here. Uh, we can do some cleaning. We can work on some clothes, all that sort of good stuff. So, and let's go ahead. Uh, now we'll wait. I was going to say, we could start to build um, walls here. 
Well, that's not a bad idea. <clears throat> um, structure. We'll just do it out of wood. That's going to be a wall. And then there'll be a door there. Something like that. And then as we get closer and closer, we can uh, we can actually get him his room made and put a bed in there for him as quickly as possible. There we go. Like that. Hit continue real fast. How's Albio doing? Health is okay. Needs in prison, but other than that, decent prison cell. Feeling good. Looks extremely low. Okay. Hungry. That's fine. We'll take care of that. We do have somebody on... <clears throat> Kimmy's on warden in number one, so... <clears throat> she should take care of you pretty fast. Dimitri and Sesniak clearly have no shame. A little love making there, despite there's a big hole in the wall and camels walking through the room and Mechthar mining right outside. Got a prosthesis trader. Oh, maybe we can sell this stuff. <clears throat> Kimmy, why don't you come in here and talk to this guy? <clears throat> We don't need to buy any prosthesis, but we have a bunch of wooden foots. Wooden foots. Let's sell all of those. There we go. Uh, we could buy some medicine. The price is a little bit much, though. I think we'll be okay for now. We could get a prosthetic tail. Uh, no, I think that's it. I think we're just going to sell our feet. Accept and call it a day. And I think on that, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you hated it. Uh, we will continue our um, our progress towards our, our little launch pods and our and our raiding, especially now that we've got our dromedaries and we can carry some extra food, which will be nice. Uh, so <clears throat> you can look forward to that. I'd like to see how that turns out. If you'd like to watch any of our other gaming coverage, such as our Football Manager 2017 episodes, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you next time. May the Force be with you.